We've all grown up in York, we've got a really good strong set of friends in York, you know, this is where we formed and this is where our formative years were spent, you know, people from London saying why don't you move here, but to be honest, growing up in York is just too nice. This is kind of where it all started really, at our old school. This is where it all began really. In first year, me and Paul decided that we wanted to form a band. I said, I'm, I want to be the singer, and Paul said, I want to play guitar. Quite clearly, we couldn't do either of those things very well, but we used to prance around outside saying, yeah, we're in a band. We called ourselves Broccoli Haven. And then it wasn't until after we'd left school that we formed Shed 7. We had a gig booked at Fibbers, so we turned up to be told that they hadn't got the music licence. So we thought, well, where can we go to, to do a gig at such short notice? And we thought, well, Sainsbury's car park is just around the corner. So about 50 people turned up. We thought, this is a perfect opportunity to try and get a little bit of attention and a bit of press. I thought, I'll go and phone the police and complain about abandoned noise. And we were actually packing all the equipment away. Lo and behold, here come the police, you know, what are you up to? So it's all right, we've done a gig, but we're going now, right, on your way. So it didn't really have the desired effect, really, did it? Not particularly, no. I think we were imagining that we were going to be all arrested, thrown into jail and, you know, be notorious in some way. There's no part in hiding the hate you can find in the pain that you call your own. There's no part in shouting, confess that a fly in the boy is on his own. Last time we played Fibbers was 2003. We did three gigs in a row. We played to a sell-out crowd and uh, it's, you know, proved we were still popular. Before we got signed, we did do, they, they used to run a Battle of the Bands competition at Fibbers yearly, you know. And we entered that competition twice. And I think the first time we came second. And then I think the following year we did it again and came third. So we were actually going quite slightly downhill, but then the following year we, we got picked up and, and hey presto, here we are now, 20 years later, playing the same old venue. I can't quite believe it's been 20 years, you know, it's been, it seems to have uh, gone really, really quick. It has been really good times and then a lot of down times, but I wouldn't change any of it for the world. We've done some really good stuff, haven't we? Yeah, <laughs> we should be pleased with ourselves. Thank you!